Hey Libra, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot and welcome to your 2023 general reading for the entire year. I will be stamp time stamping these down below in the description box so you can skip ahead as you please. But we'll start um, month by month and then I'll be unpacking each month with another deck of cards. So if this is your first time here, thank you so much for gracing me with your presence. I really appreciate you spending the time to check it out. And if you are a subscriber, I really appreciate you coming back. It means a lot to me. Um, pay attention to your bodies, of course. And if this resonates, you're going to feel it. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't. Um, if you do feel it, however, I always ask uh, that people collaborate with my energies. Close the circle of intention and energy there. And you can claim it by hitting that like button or subscribing, saying hello. Anything to reach out and collaborate with my energy. I think that has a way of closing the circle and kind of completing the reading and claiming it. So starting with January, these have all been pre-shuffled with you in mind. What is the reigning energy for Libras in January? We have the lover's card. Beautiful. So that can be quite literal or it could be about a choice you're going to be making in January. We'll unpack those shortly. And February 2023, we're only taking the cards that choose us. So we take the flyers, Page of Pentacles, March 2023 for our Libras, King of Rods, this confident energy of the visionary, could be your energy, could be somebody else in your life. April, Ten of Wands, this is putting down a burden, kind of putting down, closing up an exhausting chapter. May, they're coming out really easy for you this year. Uh, so this is about something hidden. The moon, it rules over our subconscious, our world of fears, but there could be something hidden from you that might be revealed in May. How about June? June for Libras, two of pentacles. Two of pentacles suggests that maybe choices need to be made around prioritizing your time. Maybe there's a lot going on. It's kind of one of those cards that suggests you're really busy. And it makes sense. Things kind of ramp up towards summer. So now we're going to July 2023. For our Libras, something comes uh, and changes su suddenly. So the tarot card is basically, I love this card because it's the universe collaborating with you to change your life. So something happens that is beyond your control and the way you react to it can um, really determine what path your life sets on. August for Libras, 2023, August for Libras. We have two that fly out. We have the Hermit card and we have the Seven of Wands. This is taking stop, stock of how you feel about something and standing by your convictions. Um, interesting. September for Libras. Page of Couples. Uh, page of Couples. <laughs> Maybe there's something to it. Page of Cups. Something beautiful, exciting, fun, miraculous, playful happens. All right, October. We have messages coming in, very quick messages. It's good news. And not only that, it can also mean travel. Maybe you're taking a flight somewhere. Okay, so November. For Libras, we have beautiful, you might be receiving a gift or money. You might be even feeling pretty generous yourself that month something there's a an exchange going on that's really pivotal and important in november december for libras 2023 coming out of disappointment this is great you're you're going to be reaching a happier place in december what else these came out together yeah wow your wishes are coming true you might be getting some recognition in December as well. Some really good stuff. So it seems like there's some really positive stuff that starts to happen after this big kind of shakeup. Um, so something happens in July that shakes things up and you are steadfast in your convictions with something. We're gonna unpack all these, of course, too. But this, all of a sudden, this energy gets really enlightened and speeds up and messages are coming forward and you get to this really happy, happy place by the end of the year. Really cool. Um, but speaking of happy places, we start the year off in a really powerful way. Actually, I'm gonna leave those out. 
even though they take a lot of room. We'll just push them to the side. Let's open another deck. It's a lover's card in January. What is this lover's card for my Libras? 2023. What is this lover's card? Anything else? Oh my gosh. Oh wow, you are going to be very happy. We've got the sun card. We've got the two of cups. Is the same. This is the same card here. Standing by your convictions with something. Wow. Okay, so you aren't fully over something. You aren't fully over something. You haven't put down that burden yet, but you need to. You realize that. And so it's something to do with relationship. It could be a past person for some of you. It could be um, reaching out. The world card talks about people that are and, and communications from a distance. And there's this opportunity to totally rebuild something here, manifest something. This is a pretty magical card. That's why it's called the magician. And in an effort to move on and move forward and kind of put behind you this exhausting chapter with somebody, you say, you know what? I kind of know this exists. I know this is there. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I can recreate this. It's interesting. What is this two of swords in reverse? There was like this harsh ending. What is this magician? It's like refusing to let this get you down and remaking that, what could be a harsh ending, right? Um, you're making a choice to use this energy for good and to use it to build off of. You end up really, really happy here. It, I think you're forgiving yourself. I think you're realizing that, what's the, you're better off without it. Yeah, this is really interesting. With the lover's card in January, I feel like you're kind of um, putting behind you this, this connection with somebody that I think you had some sp suspicions about and while you may not have had the proof, you're just like, you know what? I don't want to invest any further in this. It's just too shady. And um, so you've kind of stepped back from it. And I think you're really happy about that. So if there's been any doubt or wobbling on it, like if you're fighting off the doubts with the seven of, of pentacles, or excuse me, seven of wands, you're doing so successfully and just be validated that you've made the right decision. The sun card, why the sun card? Yeah, it's like you're finally making this. It's been a very hard decision, but I think that you followed your hunch and it's like you've, yeah, either way. So you guys are better off for this and I think you're happy that, and especially in hindsight, that you've done this. And, you know, if they've betrayed, betrayed your trust or if you just have this suspicion but you don't have all the proof but you just can't find it in your energy to invest any further with them, well, and maybe this is after trying to start up again. Maybe this is after you guys were trying to take a second go of it and you just don't have it in you to do so. Uh, make sure to be understanding towards yourself because you are about to be very, very happy for it. <laughs> And that usually means that there are better opportunities if you can just let that go. And this could be something that's deep in your past even for some of you, you know. But if you could let this go, then I think the world will open up. And you're willing to let, that, let it go. So now we have Page of Pentacles. This is February. The reigning energy is Page of Pentacles, which is learning something, researching Being open-minded to expand. Oh, 
hard to make. I know that you guys are having in, in 2023 opportunities to make a decision and uh, it's kind of hard. This could be about your work. And so you're working really hard to actually, and it could be um, that expansion is needed of some sort. And so you're just really trying hard to listen to your intuition. Like you're going to be debating a lot in the beginning of the year of, you know, around, do I work and ho work harder, invest further into this venture? Um, there's been maybe a little bit of disappointment with it. But there's opportunities to be had with a King of Wands. So it's about revisualizing things. Um, how can you revisualize things? Well, this looks beautiful. So this is exactly where you're supposed to be. Sometimes we have to get in places that are a little tight for us in order to realize there was a, a crack in the wall or there is there is this great opening in the corner that you didn't see before you know there's this basically what I'm saying is you have to get into this squeezed spot before you can see the value in expanding and not only that but in what ways you want to expand Does that make any sense you're going to be very very happy with the ten of cups and the will of fortune but it's because you get this vision once you're in this little tight spot of being like, huh, do I keep on investing in this further? I've had a couple of disappointments or do I completely change everything or do I just walk away, you know? Well, in this moment, you have a vision uh, of the future that is gonna make you very, very happy. And it was all meant to be with the Wheel of Fortune. Two of Swords in reverse, what about this? I feel Oh, wow. Great. You're going to have great success with this. So you may or may not be encompassing this Knight of Wands energy. If it's not you, it's somebody else. But you have somebody carrying this vision out. It's like, I think you do. I think this is you having the vision. Once you're in February and in a little bit of a tight spot, your mind opens up. And all of a sudden, it's like, the yellow brick road ahead of you, you know, and the Emerald Castle. You're like, wow, I, I didn't realize that was right there. You know, you just had to step out of the house, the upside down house, <laughs> the fallen, cracked, broken house. And you realized, oh my gosh, all this whole world is here waiting for me. That's a really interesting energy. Okay, you guys, March, March, 2023. Let's straighten these out a little bit. A little OCD in me is going crazy. King of Rods. So then we give way. Recognize this guy? We give way to the King of Rods. You're embodying the energy of this visionary of anything can happen. I can make anything happen if I can see it. And the confidence that goes behind that. March. King of Pentacles. Bringing money in. Being the, uh, you might be even attracting the attentions of someone with money. An investor or um, somebody who wants to teach you something really helpful, get on board, be a partner, but we'll get a little bit more on that. King of Rods from March 2023 for our Libras. Wow, moving forward at a very fast pace. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Awesome. So there's a huge transformation for you, for a lot of you guys. I feel like it's in the area of your career and how you spend your time, where you're putting your passions and creativity. There is a big transformation happening and you're not alone in it. I feel like you have the support of another individual here. Um, it's going to open up your world, in fact, to all sorts of possibilities, the Seven of Cups. And it's important to, to know that... Um, not all that glitters is gold. So just make sure that you don't get disillusioned with all those opportunities. Everybody in the face of su success has to deal with that. Um, I do think you're going to get the opportunity, though, to really uh, step away from something you felt was inevitable, something you felt was like your only option. You're finally really getting some distance from it. You're realizing, okay, no, that doesn't have to happen at all. You're realizing that your career can go in a completely different direction, that you can really have some serious success with this. Yep. 
And here we are gifted with this offer. This Ace of Wands is this fiery, exciting offer. And the metaphor I love to give this is like when you strike a match and that first bloom of flame comes up from the match, you can choose to feed it. And you could even burn down an entire house with it. It's so powerful. Or if you don't feed it, what happens is it goes out. So you're going to get this big electrical surge, this beautiful plume of flame energy come out from this vision that you have. You've got somebody else interested in helping you with it. And you're transforming into a really um, confident energy here. So all you have to do is feed it. So that means put, you know, give up the beast on anything that is dragging you down. We have this popping up in a couple different places in your reading. And what I've noticed from every sign is we want to pay attention to the cards that keep on popping up because every sign has one or two cards that is a constant through their, their readings. So this, if you can give up the beast, whatever it, this is that is like needs to be wrapped up, it's going to be, it's the only thing that is kind of dragging you down a little bit. So April, we have the same card. We've got that 10 of wands. This is all about trying to get closure on something. Trying to get closure on something to make way of, for something in the future. So what is this April energy for my Libras? 2023, this could be, you know, wrapping it up at an old job, an old career, having to like, okay, well, I still have to do this and I have to do that. And then I can move forward into this new venture or, you know, you get the picture. Beautiful. There's a partnership here that is really awesome, I think. You have like that support I was mentioning that you have. There is money to be had. Money's coming in in April. What is this five of swords? I think you you were right about something. You had to it was hard to make a decision. This feels like it's in the past. You had to you have to make this decision, right? It's really difficult and you end up making the right decision. It's kind of like that moment in the movies, you know, <laughs> like a Bruce Willis movie where it's like, choose the wire you have to cut. Is it gonna be the red one or the blue one or something? And he cuts the correct wire. It's like that. You made this choice and you did it successfully. Good job. Two of cups, what is two of cups for us? Awesome. Yeah, this looks like a beautiful partnership. Okay, so you meet this person or this person comes out of nowhere to help you out and support you. And it turns out to be really, um, re uh, what's the word I want to say? Uh, reciprocal and kind of magic. You guys have a great time. I mean, I feel like this is drinks after work, patting each other on the back, celebrating money that's coming in. Yep. So you take a practical stance here. In April, I think it has something to do with this decision you make. Head over heart. You take a really practical stance um, when, and it ends up having this result of bringing money into you. Um, King of Swords is this energy, it's air sign energy, but it's also really practical. It's cerebral. It's like, let's look at statistics, reports, let's research, let's study this before we make a decision not just because we're passionate about it or we have a hunch or we're going on you know that we love it or whatever you know it's not an emotional decision and you have success there because of it all right so may we have the moon card right here the moon card talks about what is hidden so we're going to start may off just by asking that 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 question You'll have to forgive me. I've been talking for a couple of hours straight on these tarot readings. So I sometimes just little, 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 lose control of my mouth. Um, the moon in May. What is it hiding? <laughs> the Empress. Some of you guys are pregnant. You're going to be pregnant. And you didn't realize it was coming. Just saying. I got to just say that because it's the Empress card and she's pregnant sometimes. Well, all the time. But she's pregnant sometimes to... Um, as an example of like growing, nurturing something. So either way, something is actually growing that you don't consider, this could be your business even, like the success of your business starts to grow uh, before you realize that you're just way more successful that you experienced or than you expected. Or this could be a pregnancy, let's find out more. 
Okay, and with fast growth is some overthinking, some beautiful. This is something really wonderful happens in May. I think your life opens up these options. These, I don't know, I think you might be daydreaming a little bit more. I think something feels resolved inside. Um, I think you're feeling in the zone and confident. Somebody might be even coming out of the woodwork. Here's our two of swords, right? That decision. Um, somebody might be coming out of the woodwork to tell you something or to make you feel good about something, basically. Give you closure on something. There might have been some conflict there with them. And it takes a better direction when you just move on from it. But um, I think what you don't expect is that there's still possibilities for this relationship to move forward in a healthy way. So that's what I'll say about May. That's all I feel like I need to say about May. And then let's go into June. June is that busy card of the Two of Pentacles. This is reprioritizing things. This is, okay. What's this Two of Pentacles for Libras? 2023, June of 2023. Okay, we've got the practical, compassionate, nurturing energy of the Queen of Pentacles. That could be also an Earth sign. We've got the Page of Pentacles. We've got our Two of Swords popping back up. Decisions. I know. I know you guys hate me for saying decisions. I know that my Libra friends don't always like it when they're put on the spot and have to make decisions. Um, you're going to be deep in thought. You're going to be... It's uh, June is all about balance. It's all about... Um, weighing the options of something. Um, you're going to possibly be shifting things in your schedule to make room for other things. Um, I think you're going to be trying to find maybe some alone time in order to think stuff through. Um, I also think that you're going to be willing and open to research whatever these things are. You're trying very hard to just ground your energy and I think you're successful in that because you realize that in June to make it through that month and flourish you're going to need to be anchored in reality and actually I don't want to say it that way because that suggests that you aren't and you totally are anchored in reality but you need to be um, anchored in a practical logical kind of um, way and you're going to be working on not getting uh, too emotional about anything. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. So you're focused on information, messages coming in, realizations, messages. Um, yep. Page of Pentacles. What's this about? I kind of just floated. Judgment. So this could potentially, this looks like it could be a career choice. It could be a move. It could be a job offer. It could be... Um, it, uh, an offer to speak somewhere, communicate somehow, but either way, you're thinking deeply on it because you know they could have changed everything. Anything else about this? Yeah. So paying attention to how it makes you feel. Does it make you feel excited to do this? You know, what gives you excitement and joy in your bones? You know, what makes you feel apathetic? What makes you feel like, eh, uninspired? So that's something to pay attention to in June. Now we move on to July which is defined by the tower card. And that's not a subtle card. That was the card I was speaking to you about earlier where the, the universe just comes out and shakes things up, okay? So what is this about for my Libras, 2023? This one wants to come out, I can tell. I just feel, but it's like iffy. I'm just gonna look at it. Ah, Ten of Swords, an ending. So it has something to do with an ending maybe. Um, July, July. We got our high priestess, intuitive guides are helping you out on that month. The world ca card. You're gonna, whatever it is, you're gonna do just fine. It's not gonna be too bad or scary or anything. You got the six of wands here. This actually looks like it's a big change in a good way, really good way. I think you're gonna get closure, major closure that you didn't expect on something gonna move forward a giant leap forward in life I think you might even get a chance a couple of you guys might get a chance to 
I don't mean this in an immature way, but like tell off somebody that needed to hear it from you or draw a line, like cut somebody out and it's going to be life changing and it's going to just free you up and make you feel on top of the world. You know, you might even go out and have a couple of drinks with friends to celebrate, you know, but it's going to, yeah, it's this moment where you draw a harsh line between you and something else and it changes. I mean, this is beautiful. You're getting this opportunity to take the giant leap forward into happiness and victory. That's what this says. So it'll be really interesting to see for you guys what happens in July because it's not subtle. It's beautiful, awesome energy. Okay, so August we have the hermit energy. Again, trying to ground yourself in that deeper inner wisdom, trying to be strong in the face of adversity and clinging to your convictions here. What is this about? Yeah, moving forward. So there is a lot of forward momentum with your reading in general. 2023 is going to present some real opportunities to move forward and to close up an exhausting chapter, something that's an old belief system or something that's been holding you back. For some of you guys, this is literally an old job that you're just trying to wrap up so that you can put all of your time and attention into something you're trying to build. Um, King of Pentacles, it's about money, it's about moving forward, it's about, you know, following that lantern, knowing that you're right. So this is in, in August, it's like, yeah, you're kind of like, you might be convincing others too, but you are not going to wobble on your beliefs. You are, you are strong in your convictions and you're like, I just truly know this and I'm going to follow it. And what's beautiful about that is sometimes research isn't going to do it. And sometimes the advice of others is not going to lead you in the right direction. You have to be strong with that hermit energy. You have to be able to touch base with that inner wisdom in order to move forward. And that's exactly what you do. You move forward quickly. Okay. So this is, and this is, could be investing. This could be offers. This could be just taking a giant confident leap in your business in August. So it's going to close an old chapter with death card. That's a natural ending. It's not a literal physical death, but it's like a natural ending to things. And it's, you know, when you move forward, the response, universe responds, our lives respond. And the response to this is there's a part of your old life that kind of falls off. Then again, the seven of cups, be aware of illusions, of course, but your imagination is such an important part of all of this because without it, you can't manifest. We need our imaginations, but you know, it's kind of like, be careful what you ask for and make sure that all that glitters is not gold. Oh, man, you guys, I know. You know it's, just, it's, it's a decision-making year, but what about this decision? Tell us more about two of swords. Oh, it's going to be very happy. The sun card. Don't let that stress out you out very much. This is great. So it's like you're basically just navigating success. You're navigating success. That's what this is about. Um, you're going to be very happy. What is this 10 of cups in reverse, though? I think that you're going to be a little bit, you're going to think outside the box, uh, especially earlier in the year. And I think that you are going to be a little non-conformist with this. I'm going to go about it a little differently. I think you're a little bit busy, though. It's going to be, you're going to have to make an extra effort if you want to spend time with family and friends. You might be getting some heat at home or from your relationship, your partner, um, for not spending enough time with them with the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups upside down because you're making money. and it. But it feels like, oh, it feels healing to make all this money. That's why it's coming out with the Six of Swords. It feels so good. You know, it's like maybe there was a long period of time where it was actually take, it was gouging at your confidence, you know, and you started making some real strides earlier in the year and now it's got this momentum with the Chariot card and you don't, you don't want to slow it down now. And so you're trying to navigate stuff at home just so that they understand why you're putting all this energy into this and you're trying to, you know, shift things around in your schedule so everybody's happy. But it's a good problem to have, as they say. Okay. So now we're going to be getting insight on September. Page of Cups. Something magical happens. Page of Cups is kind of the miracle card. It's the get your wish card. So let's see what happens. It's also very creative and fun. So if you are after some creative endeavors, um, 
it's talking about following your passions. Okay, Page of Cups, more page energy. September for Libras. September for Libras. All right. So. We got the two of pentacles again. Makes sense, right? So making decisions, shifting priorities, working with your schedule, getting very busy. This is all navigating success. Um, let's see. I need a little bit more information on this. Please have patience with me. Page of pentacles. What's that about? This wanted to come out with it. What's the Five of Pentacles about? Okay, so money you don't have to worry about. I feel like you just don't have to worry about it. Um, I think you, if your bank account has been dwindling or if you your savings has been dwindling, I think you are going to have major success in blowing that up this year. What I think is going to happen in September is somebody who had a harsh ending with is going to approach you. They might have said some things that um, still are rattling around in your ears. And you're getting an opportunity to forgive them and kind of let them back in from out of the cold. I think that they are approaching you. Um, and so you're going back and forth with these two pentacles. You're going back and forth of like, do I forgive them? Do we talk? Do I reach back out to them? It was a harsh ending. I, it was sudden and it hurt my feelings and the whole thing might just kind of wear you out right but it's kind of still in the back of your mind and all that um either way I think you navigate it victoriously with six of wands and um you're going to be thinking about this so don't rush it allow yourself to think and you know contemplate all of that so that's what's happening in September. October, we have messages coming forward. So this is either sudden messages, good news coming forward, or travel, or both. And um, we're going to get an idea of which it is right now. Which one is this? Which one is this? Ah, it's travel, it looks like. Oh, both, actually, with the Knight of Swords. You're going to be getting fast, fast, fast news. News with a knight of swords um and you could be responding by traveling but this is from a distance either way you're getting the news from a distance it could be a, a zoom meeting it could be it feels like a text message or a phone call king of pentacles there we have it what about what is this about what is this regarding wow cool you might be getting a promotion I think you're getting a promotion somehow. Even if you work for yourself, this is an opportunity to step up. So basically with the Emperor card and the moon, it's like, it's this hidden opportunity to for more authority, to step up in more of authority role. And you could potentially be making better money. So let me tell you, that could be making, that could be buying a, a new property or making a new investment or, but it's a stepping up in your in authority, in your authority, and it's further investing deeper into what you've been spending your time. So you're basically getting this information and an opportunity to travel potentially around this. And I think the news is good. What as Ten of Swords flies out? What is the Ten of Swords about in this? Something might need to end with an institution or the the way, the strict way that things were being done. Hierophant rules over our institutions. It rules over the, um, the laws of our belief systems, basically, kind of our commitments and the way things are done. And I think that you're kind of, you're doing it your way, basically, even if it pisses anybody else off. But it doesn't necessarily suggest you're pissing people off, except that it's just a very harsh and quick ending in order to move forward on this, this news. Really interesting. November, we have the generous card of the Six of Pentacles. You know, so in the right hand, 
is a coin, giving a coin, and in the left hand is the balance. And it's suggesting that, you know, I want to say all is fair in love and war, that's funny. Um, that something could be coming your way. This could be more money. This could be a general, generous act in November. What is Libra 2023? What are they in for? They're getting sloppy and weird. There's something that flipped, I thought. Interesting. Money, money, money. So be aware of overworking. Be aware of maybe a, what is this devil? Yeah. More information. Beware of over traveling, possibly. Just, you know, if it's, if it's causing disruption in your life, then maybe it's overdoing it a little bit. But I think that your job, the, however you're making your money, I think it's going to turn a corner where travel, more and more travel is, um, it's going to be called for more travel. And it's growing. It's transforming. This is temperance. This is transformation. This is chrysalis. And this is all because we get this seven of wands over and over throughout your reading as well. And this is you being on top of it, being in line with your own confidence and your intuition, your hermit energy. And you are just making strides forward because you, you feel very strong in your convictions. Listening to high priestess energy, intuition was this knight of pentacles. Okay. So you are also able to see in November where you can improve upon things, which is kind of a superpower, right? Because even when you're doing well, if you can not lose sight of the bigger picture of like, where can we make those tiny tweaks? Where can we adjust these little things to make things more efficient, to make me more happy, to make my the people I love more happy? You're going to be aware of that. And maybe thanks, perhaps, to some earlier communications, um, in the year from them. So December, we have three cards that flew out together and you're going to be coming fully coming out of a place of disappointment. And it's like you get this huge celebrity card of the star. This is being recognized. It's also not just by people around you, but this could be getting recognized in almost a heavenly way. If you've been praying, if you've been wishing and manifesting something, it's coming to fruition. So in December, for our Libras, we have the queen. It's like <clears throat> pull your, you pulled yourself up by your bootstraps through sheer will, will alone, and you blew open your confidence this year you know you become the the energy of the queen of wands this is confident this is almost uh, like you are aware of how powerful you look you know that people are paying attention and you're coming into a place of abundance you're coming out of a place of destitute um lack right um coming out of that disappointment of the the five of cups the magician sheer will power is beautiful yeah and it, what, it's not like you didn't pay a price it was not always easy you, there was some overthinking there's some anxiety involved because whenever somebody's striding into the unknown and just with their intuition as their guide it's going to be a little scary so you're recapping in december and you're feeling gratitude you're feeling all the things you're seeing what you've done you brought this healing upon yourself you did this pulled yourself up by your bootstraps What is our high priestess energy about in reverse? Sorry for the loud. So the only thing that can um, kick your uh, intuition out of whack is um, the times in the year that have come out and bit you in the ass are when your ego got a little wrapped up in being right. So there's a difference between these two cards, right? So he's fighting off all those wands he's like playing king of the mountain with all those other wands and you can't see the other individuals holding those wands because sometimes it's fighting off your own doubts but those wands represent doubts either other people's doubts or your own doubts but there's a difference between standing with your convictions standing by your convictions and your belief by listening to your inner voice right the hermit and the and the high priestess intuition card are very related 
So there's a difference between that and there's, and then there is this being right, but at what cost? You know, he's got all their swords, but he also has lost their friendship. So the only times that uh, kick you off of your intuition, she came out in reverse. The only times that you sacrifice your intuition is when you get wrapped up a little bit in your ego. And it is a very fine line between those two characters. And so that's when Justice card, which is Libra energy, your own energy, it's like your own karma is going to come out and kick your butt right back in the line. But it's a really cool relationship you have with the Justice card because I think you spot it really quick. So it's been, it's a really powerful year. Um, yeah, you're a powerhouse. Um, I appreciate you so much. And this has been such a joy to read for you. Check out your monthly readings as they come out month by month. If you want to see how they unpack in the future, hit the like button. I appreciate it. And uh, say hi anytime. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.